Too old for this. I've uh, not what I expected. <laughs> No, let's write some for I uh, just thought I'd put a video of me of fitting a carpet for myself, really. Um, but yeah, I've just got that wall to cut in, these two walls to cut in. But yeah. Watch them knees, mate. I'll tell you what, I've uh, felt my hip today as well. I felt my hip today. Are you practicing casting in someone's bedroom, Vern? I feel for you in this heat, bud. <laughs> I am sweating. It is dripping off me. I'll just cut that wall in. You see, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, I'd have had this done in an hour, but now I just do one job and I think to myself, it'll take as long as it takes and I won't bugger myself up, so.
That's that wall cutting. Absolutely perfect. You don't get better than that. You don't get better than that. And if someone comes and fits your carpet and they aren't using that, a tucking knife, to tuck the carpet in and they're using a bolster like a great big metal chisel, uh, they aren't fitting the carpets properly. Now I won't find any bait there, landlord. I'll watch them knees doing a bit of work. Now it's not the bathroom, Andrew. Sweating a bit as well. Right. Let me There you go. Look at that. Bird's eye view there, lads. Carpet down, knife down, push it into carpet and cut it. Making sure you don't cut too high up. Give it a quick check.
and you take the tuck and knife. So when you stretch a carpet, you stretch the carpet onto the grippers. And uh, the grippers hold the carpet. Then you take the tuck and knife and your fingers, and you push your fingers where the gripper is. So that the carpet, when you push this down, the carpet doesn't pop up because then the carpet will pop off off your grippers. And then when you see uh, your carpet going like this and then down, it's not on the grippers because they haven't fitted it properly. This, what I'm doing now, is what actually grips the carpet. There's a sharp edge on the gripper which is angled back cut, and that's the side that goes to the wall. That's called your knife edge. And the carpet, when you fit it, you hook it onto the grippers, but the grippers don't hold, the grippers hold it, but they don't fit the carpet tight. When you fold the carpet down by pushing your fingers on the gripper, like so, and tucking it down, not taking your tips of your fingers off with a tucker knife, Going over that knife edge of the gripper is what actually grips your carpet and stops your carpet coming off. If they go around with a metal bolster, um, like this, I'll show you. If they use one of these, this is a stair nosing tool. People fit carpets with these by banging it down. It's too thin. This is thin. And with your fingers pushed on the gripper, holding it on the pins, when you tuck the carpet over the knife edge, down here, like so, with your fingers here, that's what grips your carpet and fits it to the wall. Using one of these takes longer. And there you have a carpet fitted perfect. The carpet goes up, it might just slightly tuck down, but that's it. That is a carpet fitted. Bet he can't shut the door. Matt, we need a joiner to fit the doors, but he ain't come yet. You sweeping, Vern. Sweating. <sighs> I'm knackered. Like your zippy rebuild, Vern. I'm still on with that, diggers. I put all the eyes on last night. I might do a quick short. I put all the eyes on my... Um, the uh, Ziplex last night, got them lined up um, with tie wraps and I've taped the other side of the eyes to make sure that they don't move. They looked in line, I shall check it when I get on from doing this and then I shall get on with whipping that rod. Now you can get a knife and lash this down but they've got nice new painted skirting boards which are really painted well and I always back cut it
Oh, I wish I was 10 years younger. I'd do this just for a living. It's getting blunt now. paint these walls again yet because they've only put the first coat of paint on how's that fitted let me have a look at the comments quite a nice color gray's the in color at the minute some water. Right, where are we? Was down west with Luggy on the weekend. I watched you. I watched you, casters. You caught on the Saturday and blanked on the Sunday. And then as soon as Luggy took his shirt off, you packed your gear up. Were you feeling inadequate? Looking good, Van. Thank you, Colin. Same colour as last got. Yeah, it's a nice colour. Cal. John Spalton looks too technical for me. I would say the same about catching eels, mate. I've only got one more wall to cut in, and then I can go home and whip my fishing rod. Well. There you go. First live with me, yeah. Uh, where are we at? Right, there you go. You cut backwards on into the corner first. You've got to get this right. I need to change the blade. Never put a title on the video again, dear. Oh dear. There you go. Do a live when you do the rod, buddy. Now I can't do a live when I do the rod casters because um, I concentrate too much and I get frustrated because things go wrong. It's bad enough. I'm actually filming doing the rod, so there will be a video come out of me doing that rod. Um, but yeah, I'm filming each process of the rod. I'm not filming the whole thing. I think it'll be long enough.
Yeah. So yeah, I am filming the rod. There will be a video of me doing it coming out soon with next to no gear, doing it by hand, no machine, just my rod turner for drying it. Um, but yeah, I can't go live. I get people telling me how to do it and stuff and I'll start getting stroppy. But not only that, if something goes wrong, which it often does, I'll be getting under pressure. Like I say, it's bad enough filming it. It is bad enough filming it, actually. Are you not at work, casters? Are you not chippy in it? This is my only job for today. Once this is done, I'm virtually on holiday then, till September. to do that. Blades blunt. That'll do this last bit though. I hope. Carpet fed. I'm going to bird this half through. I might be Cal. <laughs> I doubt it. I've got to pick the wife up. She's looking after the dog. Daughter's dog. Having a cold bit. And you're not at work, Matt. Are you having a day off? Is it like a week off or something? Right, you're going to see something now that nobody else, not even the wife, has ever seen.
And there we have it. No work this morning. Well, what's the time now? Is it not morning now? Doorway, look at that, over that cutting. Not bad for my first attempt, is it? So what do you think to my first carpet ever fitted? Nice to see a craftsman at work, thanks Jimmy. Those tools have A&E written all over them, but yeah, they certainly do. The amount of times I cut myself with this, I took the sharp edge off this, I filed it off because that is a killer, but you just use it for tucking. It's an old lino knife. God knows how they used, the old boys used to use it. I don't know. That's the waste. Here's my tools. Right, let me just set you up there and then you will see something in a moment that not many people have ever seen. Right, I'll be back in a minute. One minute, stay there, don't go. Just have a cup of tea and a bit of cake. That's right, don't tell the missus I'm over and for God's sake, if she finds out I'm using this over, my life is gonna be ruined. Is ever over up. I mean, I'm just doing a service that you don't normally get out.
There you go. What's that done? Where are we at? So here we have it. You don't get many carpet fitters over the floor, but this is a mate of mine. Um, and uh, I've hoovered all the others up to now, so I've hoovered this one as well. It's just nice when the customer comes into the room and they don't see a pile of carpet over in the corner in a bag. Uh, they'll get the carpet all on the landing. But the thing is with that is I'm now going to bag that up into a black bag, into a bag that I've got. And I'm going to stick some old underlay down there because um, it will stop the muck getting in there. It will help in there until they get that carpeted. But that's it, it's done. One carpeted room. You know, I didn't show you hooking it all on and stretching the carpet in because I was sweating like a right pig. <laughs> and you don't want to see that. You missed a bit, but did it, where'd I miss it, Carl? Whereabouts? I don't think I have. I think you're winding me up. Oh, hang on. There's a bit there, look. There's a bit there, look. See, you're right, mate. Sorry about that, Carl. We'll put that out there. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. I got it, yeah. Now, did, did you see the same bit as what Carl saw? That's what I want now. The missus said she's leaving the hoovering for you to do when you get back. You're not allowed fishing until the whole house is done. Wayne, have you, have you already dogged me in, Wayne? That's not, that's not a sort of man thing to do, is it, eh? Fancy dogged me into the missus already. <laughs> and yeah, that's that carpet done. It's just a short live. I've always wanted to show me fitting a carpet, but there's from the corner. Quite chuffed with that. That's my work done for the day. If everybody can uh, give us a thumbs up on your way out, that'd be fantastic. Um, and I'll try and put a title on this when I get home on the laptop because I forgot to write the bloody title in at the beginning. But yeah, this is sea fish, burn sea fishing, fitting the carpet. And in my opinion, Bloody top notch job done as well. Oh, there's another bit I missed, look. There you go, let's see, another bit. Is that the bit you saw, Casters? That window. So yeah, put my glasses on. See you later, Cas Casters. Thanks for everyone joining, Samantha, all of you. Um, who have got diggers. Casters, Jimmy, thanks a lot, mate. And look, still got all my fingers and thumbs. <laughs> so I'm gonna pack up there, put all my stuff away, put the underlay at the front door here, at the bedroom door, and uh, I'm going home to, oh, Christ, is the wife on, I need to, thanks, Casters, thanks a lot, Matt. You're an absolute genius, mate. If anyone was going to dog me in, it would be Matt, wouldn't it? Has she been watching? I don't believe it. What do you think to that pet as a job? I didn't over it. The customer hoovered it. I've just moved all the bits out, pet. Anyhow, I'm going to pack my gear away, put the underlay at the door, like I said, and then I'm gonna um, go home and start my fishing rod. Matt, the bathroom is not done yet, mate. Stop stirring it. I broke the hoover pet. I had to gaffer tape the hoover. <laughs> I don't think Terry will mind. No, the bathroom ain't done, but it is being done. It'll be done this year. Anyhow, I'm finishing this off now before Matt gets me into trouble, i.e. casters, and uh, I'm on my way home. So I'll see you all later. Thanks for uh, 
tuning in. I know it weren't fishing. I know it weren't fishing, but it's uh, just something that I've something that I've done. Fitting the carpet. What's she talking about now, my old woman? This year, yeah, this year. We talked about it last night, Pet. I'll get it done this year before Christmas. That can be your Christmas present. I'll sort the shower out. Happy Christmas. So anyhow, you've been watching Van C Fishing. I do normally fish, but this one's been a bit different. It's been me fitting the carpet. So thank you very much for tuning in and watching. This No, before Christmas, Pet, I'm going to fit the shower. Not this week. I've got my fishing rod to do first. That's more important. That's governed by the weather, you see. Whereas I can do the shower during winter. So yeah, this is Fancy Fishing. I do normally fish. Please go along and have a look at my fishing videos. Um, consider subscribing. And if you don't like it and don't want to, thanks for the video anyhow. So it's much appreciated. And I'll see you later. There's the camera there. And I'll see you later in the next one. So I'll see you in a...